Hey farm hands, Farm Boy Reef here. So on this episode of Coral Friday, I picked up you guys a really nice specimen. It's been behind me, it's been acclimating for about an hour and a half. Always remember when you're acclimating your corals, you want to add a little bit of your tank water to keep the salinity the same and help to raise the temperature. So the temperature in the tank and what's in your bag are the same so we don't shock that coral. So the coral I got for you guys today is the meat coral. It's a very beautiful coral. The one I got is a real like neon green color. I look forward to getting underneath the radions and see if we can get this coral to pop. So a few requirements uh, for this coral is uh, your water conditions. You want to try to keep your temperature to 78 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, keep uh, DKH from uh, 1.8 to uh, 8.4. If you can keep it in those ranges, uh, this coral should really take off for you guys. Um, Feeding requirements, it's good to spot feed this coral as well. You want to feed it some uh, meaty foods a few times a week. Um, you can feed it some shrimp. I feed uh, all my other corals uh, reefroids. I uh, spot feed them a few times a week and uh, they seem to do really well. The placement for this coral, you want to keep it mid-level in the sand. Um, it doesn't like uh, direct uh, light all the time. It has the algae that grows in its skin, azulutanales, so it needs the light to create the sugar to feed this coral as well. So if you can keep it somewhere up close against a rock, so it has a little bit of shade, a little bit of light, it'd be really beneficial for this coral. Just want to keep a medium flow because it has a very sharp skeleton under its skin. So when there's too much flow, it really pounds the coral, and what it does is it'll pierce the skin, and then it'll end up uh, start killing that coral out. We don't want that to happen. You want to keep all your elements in check. You want to keep your magnesium, your calcium, your alkalinity, so it can grow the, the skeleton in this coral to make sure it keeps on growing. So the best time to feed this coral is at night. Um, its tentacles will come out at least an inch and a half. So you can, you know, you can feed it some reef roids, you can feed it some shrimp. It'd be very beneficial for it at night. The aquarium it can grow up to at least three and a half inches. So you want to make sure and keep a lots of room around it, so it has uh, enough room to expand when it's fully inflated. So I'm going to melt this coral in the sand today. I got a really great spot. I'm going to put it beside one of my brain corals because it's they're pretty similar. So if it's doing really well, this coral should do really well in the same area. So I usually uh, coral dip my corals down in the lab today. It's not going to happen. Um, I usually use uh, the reef primer. I end up using uh, at my local fish store. There's a few people there that want to see it in action. So we did it all together and lots of fun. Thanks a lot, guys, for doing that. I hope it works as well for you as it did for me. So all we have to do is get this uh, coral all mounted on the sand bed. We'll get the radions on. We'll turn the blues down so you can get this coral to pop. All right, guys? So here's the meat coral. So all we have to do is I got the reef link open. So let's start turning the radions down. So let's turn the reds down. Let's turn the greens down. Let's turn the cool whites down. So now it's just starting to pop there. See how it's like the neon green color? As you guys can see the mouth in the middle. So that's where I'm going to direct feed it some uh, reef roids or some uh, mice and shrimp. So it'll, it'll feed and really take off. So it's a very beautiful meat coral. So it'll go with my, my collection of brains. So it looks very nice. So let's uh, let's do a couple presets. Let's do color radiance, polyfluorescent. Very nice. All right, guys. So I hope you guys like this uh, episode of Coral Friday, the beautiful meat coral. So hopefully you guys end up getting yourself one. Do all those requirements. You shouldn't have a problem. So, you know, tune in uh, next week, same time, same place. You never know what coral I'm going to have for you guys, all right? Thanks, guys. Please subscribe and hit the like button.